Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today we're canning again. I'm just gonna put in some chicken curry and I've decided I'm gonna do them in pint and a half because there are three of us and that's probably a good size for a dinner for three. So, let's get started. I've got my seven pint and a half jars and I am actually just gonna, I'm gonna start with onion first. So I'm gonna divide my onion up between all the jars. If you are making this chicken curry and you want to put your veg in now, you can put carrots and potatoes in. I think the the recipe in the ball canning book calls for um, potatoes. I don't know if it calls for carrots. I can't remember. But I'm going to do my onions first and then we're going to do our curry paste. So I want maybe a little less than a quarter cup curry paste, kind of a scant curry paste, scant, four, scant quarter cup, I want this concentrated because when you open this up you're going to add um, about a cup of coconut milk to it and then you can put in cooked potatoes, cooked carrots, that's how I will do it. Um, I like it with potatoes and carrots, but I want them, I, don't, I want them fresh when I do them. Because <clears throat> I like to actually keep the carrots a little bit harder. Okay, and this is how I'm doing it. I'm going to put in some boiling water just to get this curry paste started. Because it needs to be stirred into the whole thing. So I'm going to pour a little bit into all of these just to get it started. And then I'm going to pack the chicken in. I'm not adding chicken broth to this one, just the hot water because curry paste is super flavorful. That smells so good already. I love curry. You can make your own homemade curry paste if you prefer. I do that sometimes, but I usually do that when I'm gonna make it all fresh in a day and wanna take the time to do it. But this will be a quick, quick, easy way. Okay, all my chicken is in bags. <laughs> I have it all prepped. You can use gloves for this if the raw chicken part grosses you out. I know Linda's one of those that has to wear gloves. I'm one of those that figure my hands are washable. <laughs> okay, so I want to do only about three quarters of the way full and the rest with liquid. I want plenty of room to move around because I've got that curry paste in there. And chicken curry with chicken thighs is going to be delicious because chicken thighs have so much flavor. Yep, that's canning pots on top of my washer. You can hear it. <laughs> I have lots of canning pots. And then this will be a good amount to to leave room to add the, you know, we'll pour it in a pan, add the coconut milk, and then the cooked carrots and potatoes.
All right, let's get started filling these up with water. Okay. I need, um, it calls for an inch head space, but I think I'm gonna try to give it one and a half, just so we don't, these are small mouth jars. Your jars vent, but I hate when they spew out with a small mouth, so I'm gonna give it a little bit extra. Inch and a quarter. We'll do inch and a quarter. At this point, I don't think I need this. That out of there. This curry smells amazing. So if you want an easy chicken curry to can, this is it, man. <laughs> And if you want to add your own spin, like extra garlic or ginger or whatever it is that you want to add, you can totally do that. Last one. <clears throat> so tomorrow I'll have one more chicken canning video for you. And I'm using white vinegar. Curry paste has oil in it. Another thing, when you use curry paste, you usually put like a tablespoon of oil in your pan and heat it up and then put your curry paste in and cook it and so on. If you want to add a little bit of fat to this, other than the um, coconut milk when you open it up, you can totally do that. These lids on. We're almost ready to go. This was an easy chicken curry to do. Also, if you can your um, potatoes and your onions in here at the same time, then it kind of takes away room from chicken. So that's another reason I just wanted to do chicken and onion and then add the other stuff later. It kind of bulks it up a bit. Forgot I left my rings over there on the drying towel. Okay, everybody's in the hot tub. You have to excuse my canning mess stuff everywhere. And, um, let's see, chicken curry. Quart, one hour, 30 minutes. I'm gonna process these guys one hour and 30 minutes following all the instructions of my canner, including venting. So make sure you follow yours. Okay, my canner is done. I like to crack the lid after a little while and let it sit for 15 minutes. And there is the chicken curry. Doesn't look very appetizing right now, but it will. <laughs> it smells so good in here though. This smells amazing. Scooch them down a little bit, make some room. Okay, there they are, the seven pint and a half jars of chicken curry. I cannot wait to have this with some jasmine rice. This is yellow curry, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. There, this one's yellow. I like yellow, and I like red, and I like orange. <laughs> I love curry. Okay, that is all there is to the chicken curry that I'm making. Um, I didn't use the ball book recipe. I just decided to use a commercial curry paste and make it easy on myself. Plus, I like the commercial curry paste. It's the one I bought at the restaurant supply, but they make really good ones at the regular grocery store too, in small amounts. Now, I bought a big tub and I'm gonna have to break the rest up and freeze it. <laughs> but, or, or I guess I could can it into 
pint jars. I probably can just curry sauce in pint jars. Maybe I'll do that in the future. We'll see. I don't know. I always come up with all these extra canning ideas. I'm going to be overwhelmed with canned goods again. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18, and I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my website for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.